Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are going to remove this generic mantle that came with the house and replace it with a piece of reclaimed wood from an old barn. <laughs> To start the process, we have to remove the old mantle, and as you can see, it's not even sitting flush with the wall anyway. Uh, this mantle was held up uh, with re uh, recessed screws that you can see that were right here, and they must have mounted brackets to the wall to hold that, and that's what they used to hold this mantle on. So, you so what I'm going to do is take a chisel and a hammer and knock out these plugs that came in the mantle. So they had wooden plugs on the bottom of this, but the plugs were just for show. What they used is a cleat system. As you can see, we're going to leave that the way it is. It was just a cleat system for some, uh, with just some glue. So as you can see, they just used a cleat system with some glue. Uh, everything, the plugs, everything around that were just for show. You can see they have a, uh, a Torx 25 bit in it, holding it on. So we'll remove this off next, get our level line, and then we'll uh, get onto the mountain of brackets that we ordered from uh, a place somewhere far away. So the brackets we ordered for this is from Industrial Farm Co. Uh, I'll leave a link below in the description, but you can see the bracket design that we used, or we actually ordered. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bracket. Now we do have pictures when they actually, uh, they're in the rough period of this house and there is a header above this, but we're not gonna be utilizing that. I will put a uh, picture in it. Or I'll show you a picture of how this is framed and where we're gonna be mounting to. So I did mark where the old mantle was. There's a line there and a line here. Uh, my Mantle currently is eight inches tall, so we'll mount the brackets where it's needed. And what happened is they have a, uh, there's a two by four on the flat, and there's also one ver uh, vertically this way. So I have about five inches of stud that's on this corner of each side, but you got half inch for the uh, ship lap. So we got about four and a half inches to the edge of where the framing is in the wall. So we'll make sure our brackets are back uh, just a little bit so we can catch the lumber that's behind the ship lap and mount the brackets. As you can see, we're going to be using Fasten Master headlock screws. They replace a 3 8 lag screw. Uh, I bought these at the local big box store, and that's what we'll be using to mount the hardware to the wall. I have my marks on the wall where I want to mount the bracket, and it's about four inches of center. So we're going to get this up there and get it started. And the good thing about these screws is you don't have to pre-drill. So I just get the first one snugged up and then I'll level out the bracket and put the second screw in. Okay, we got the bracket leveled and squared up. We're gonna drive the second screw in, but being there's a bracket here, I have to use the extension. And I'm gonna drive on a slight angle back this way. You don't want to over tighten this because you can end up cracking the wood. So just snug it up. And 
and we're going to repeat the process on the other side. So we have both brackets mounted now. Uh, next thing will be is actually bring the piece of reclaimed wood over and set it on top. So as you can see, we have it mounted on the brackets. And I will show you what this looked like, looked like before I refinished it. Uh, I basically just take a wire brush, clean it up, give it a light sand, and I apply sanding sealer to it, which brings out the natural color of the wood. And you can see it's not perfect, but it's not supposed to be perfect because it's reclaimed barn wood. It's an eight by eight beam that used to be in a barn in Ohio. And you can see all the natural cool hand hues in it. So one of the last things we have to do is underneath the brackets, there's a little screw hole there to hold this in place as a safety precaution, but trust me, it's not gonna go anywhere. I put this in probably around about 125 pounds in weight. It's really heavy, it's a white oak. But you can see this, the install was pretty simple because I knew how the framing was behind this fireplace. Uh, if you're unaware of the framing behind the fireplace, you're gonna want to get blocking in the wall for this. So you meant to take down what you have there and get blocking in the hole that's because it's very heavy. So all we have left to do now is put the electronics back the way they were, push the TV back, and we're all set. So overall, we're pleased the way it turned out. The brackets from Industrial Farm Co. We're definitely loving these. Uh, being the uh, mantle itself is, you know, reclaimed wood and it's not perfectly. The brackets are leveled out, but I did a few little tricks uh, to make it look a little bit more level. So for the sound bar, I used a few screws just to shim it up so it looks the same distance off the TV. And I also used a couple quarter inch washers underneath this just to kind of bring it up just enough to make it so it didn't look horrible. Uh, you know, overall it looks pretty straight. You know, with the uh, line with the... Uh, shiplap so i think overall it turned out great uh tune in next uh episode we're still gonna be fishing the uh, fall transition down here in the south all right guys catch you next time